Hi everyone, I am back again with another travel vlog here on my channel. And this time, I'll be sharing our experiences when we went to Italy. I am mostly excited to visit this country and the cities my friends and I plan to visit. So for our first stop, we all met in Milan and were already welcomed with a heavy Italian lunch. And off we started to tour around the known Piazza del Domo and the Galleria. Just arrived in Milan, so here's the Galleria and the Domo. There's a lot of tourists. So here's the interior of the Duomo, so it's very spacious inside. But for me, I still prefer the interiors of the Sagrada Familia in Barcelona. And then we went to check out the Italy's oldest active shopping gallery and a major landmark of Milan, which is the Galleria Vittorio Emanuele. So we went to visit different luxury boutiques as well as some other shops. It was quite overwhelming for me as maybe there were a lot of tourists, but it was still a fun and a different experience to have. And then we're off to check out more other attractions. Then we went to have dinner and tried some risotto and lobster linguine for my main course. Every food was really good which filled my tummy. So to help me digest what I just ate, my boyfriend and I then explored the gay district of Milan in Porto Venezia. We had some drinks then headed back to our place and called it a day. And so our next stop is Venice, which my best friend and I have been planning to visit here since 2020. But then COVID-19 struck, so the trip was postponed until this day came. We were very much looking forward to this city and it did not disappoint. I must say that it is really nice here, especially the little streets and corners. And yes, some parts are indeed smelly, but since it's run it by seawater, so I guess it's unavoidable. We then strolled around some more streets where we ended up having our first ever gelato, which was really good. Also, we got to check out some shops such as artisans who sell their great artistry in making masks for the known carnival here. Later on, we continued to check out more known attractions here. over there and there's apparently a viewing point here to see the Rialto. Rialto. So the next day, we are still here in Venice and we started it by experiencing one of their public transportations, which are the boat taxis. There were quite a lot of people but I see why, because of the different view of the city. It is way more interesting to see it from that perspective, 
So a must try here in Venice with the boat taxis. Then we went to explore museums, which was again very mesmerizing to look at. Every corner, I must say, is detailed to perfection. And after those touring around with different museums, we will not leave Venice without trying to ride the gondolas. I must admit that I was a bit terrified at first, but I did manage to enjoy the experience, and so was my friends. So again, a must try if you're planning to visit here. experience, we went to check out a beach and a few places around the area before we finally concluded our day here in Venice as we were off to another city the next day. So then, our day began by traveling this time by car. Let's just say it was a quite an experience when we started our day, but we all managed to still enjoy our journey to Bologna and Florence. So for our first stop, we were in Bologna and was again heavily welcomed by authentic Italian food and explored a bit the city. like it Piazzale Michelangelo, I hope I'm saying that right, where there is an amazing viewing point of the city.
quickly settled our stuff in our place and continued to explore the city. We already checked out the known Duomo and some other attractions here. Also, we tried out the wine by the window, but we had a bit of an underwhelming experience to where we went. So if you like to try this one, better try to research some other parts of the city where they offer it a much better way. So this is the Domo. In Florence in the day. Just last night we went at night. So. Lots of tourists. So the next day we were still in Florence and went back to visit again the places we saw last night to see the attractions during the day. Every structure here is just so intricate and very pleasing to look at. If we just had more time and days, we surely want to check out more of what Florence has to offer. And for our lunch, we had pizzas, which was really, really good. I enjoyed my pizza and also took some limoncellos to top it all off. So after Florence, we were off to the next city, which is in Pisa. Surprisingly, the attractions were that close, which is good, especially if you're also traveling during summer, as we don't want to be walking under the scorching heat of the sun. Then we had some gelatos to help us cool off. But before the day ended, we were already on our last leg of the trip. But before we went there, our boyfriends decided to let us experience how to drive, which was again nerve-wracking for me, but at least I was able to experience it again. Who knows if I'll be driving my car in the future, right? After that experience, we were then back on track and on our way to Rome. First day in Rome, and first stop is Oh my god, there's a lot of people. There she is. And so we're finally here in Rome, and our first stop here at Trevi Fountain. And yes, so this is the reality of every attraction, basically. There are a lot of tourists who want to take Instagrammable photos, which we did partake, of course. in Rome and 
we are approaching. No idea. You tell us. Peace. Pantheon. Yeah. We have arrived here in Pantheon. information the whole doesn't have any glass so when it rains yeah it goes inside but there's the drainage over there cool and we're still continuing to explore Rome in different museums and tourist attractions Piazza Navoni. Navona. But unfortunately, it's under renovation. So, we're having lunch and we're going to try here at Mastro Siccia. Then we're off to one of the highlights here in Rome, which is the known Colosseum. It's amazing how this structure still lives on up to this day. What was the best thing we did today? The best thing we did today, I think the restaurant the that Amatrichana was really good, and mm. then the Pantheon. The Pantheon. Nice. Oh. Huh? To me, it was the mouth of truth. Because it was the second time stuck our hand into the mouth of truth aka sewer drain cup cover due tutti e due è impossibile non la possiamo sposare entrambi so we ended our day with some good authentic italian food and some party street So we started our day by still doing touristy stuff, which we went to visit the Forum Romano. It was extremely hot though to walk around and see some attractions. I believe it's best to visit these kinds of attractions during spring. Nevertheless, I still appreciate the beauty of these sites. Thank you. 
to recharge our energies after those long walks, we went to have some lunch and headed back home to collect our beach stuff to go off at the nearest beach and call it a day. And for our last full day here in Italy, we woke up extra early to go to the Vatican City, which is a good tip if you want to avoid long queue lines under the scorching heat of the sun if you wish to visit the St. Peter's Basilica. ceilings. By the way, you can either use the lift or the stairs if you wish to visit the top part. It was a bit challenging to go up the viewing point, but it was all worth it once you see the amazing views. Then after visiting those different attractions, we recharge ourselves with a sumptuous lunch. Then in the evening, my boyfriend and I took the night to ourselves to enjoy our last night in Rome by having our last Italian meal and some drinks. And as well as visiting the Trevi Fountain for the last time and ended it with some sweet gelatos. And now I can finally say that it was indeed a great trip and very much memorable as I enjoyed exploring Italy along with my loved ones. On our way back home now.